Hello and welcome to Healthy Moments. This is a show where I digest health across branded news and beyond. I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day. For those of you from not from the States, Memorial Day is a celebration that we have where we commemorate all the people who died in the armed forces. This holiday originally started off as being called Decoration Day and was created in order to commemorate Union soldiers after the Civil War. Now let's get on with the news. Have you ever put a donor sticker on your driver's license? It may be meaningless, and here's why. Thousands of donor livers are being thrown out every year just because they're too high risk for fatty liver diseases. Most of the livers that are being thrown out are from people over the age of 40, people who suffer from obesity, which is being over 30 pounds overweight, hypertension, and diabetes. So if you're serious about donating your organs after your death, you might consider having healthy ones because otherwise they will be discarded. Moving beyond contemplation and really starting to get active and making lifestyle changes will make your life much better as well as be able to help other people around in your community and in the end help others live on. The next article immerses you in the lives of a couple both diagnosed with schizophrenia. Now the article talks about some of the symptoms that were used to diagnose these patients and I'm not going to mention them because A, I don't want you to self-diagnose and B, a lot of these symptoms go across multiple mental illnesses so you, if you're feeling unwell at all or you are in question about your mental state, go see a doctor immediately. There's no time to waste. This article concludes with the fact that being undiagnosed completely ravaged and destroyed these people's lives. The fella in this article wasn't able to see his kids for decades, and when he did, after one meeting, they never really got back in touch with him. So I really suggest that you take your mental health seriously. It's all you got. All the articles this week are covering some heavy subjects. The next one is no different. It's about Bill Azell, who is suffering from hypertension. It is such a severe case that he's taking six medications and it's really not helping. Mildly, mild improvements at best. The article continues by talking about this new procedure that I've never even heard of, and it's how they go in and they end up burning some of these nerves that uh, somehow affect your blood pressure. I watched a iTunes lecture from Stanford University that was called uh, Hypertension in 2012 or something like that, and it didn't cover nerves as one of the key factors of high blood pressure. Anyway, a link to the article is in the description below, as well as my notes from that lecture, which are a few pages long. It was a long lecture and it was very informative. If you are suffering from hypertension and are looking for a good source of information or just pursuing more current information, uh, click on the links in the description below. I want to finish off with a light article, and luckily the featured articles on my website are generally pretty light. Uh, today, I just posted my current workout. It's a workout I've been developing since I moved here to Arizona. It's been about two or three weeks in development. Don't know if it's done yet, but it's uh, been really killing me, and I've been really enjoying it. Uh, it's uh, posted in the links below. Definitely not a beginner's workout. There are other workouts in the workout section of my website, but if you're just interested in seeing what some more intermediate stuff is, go ahead and check it out. That's all for this week. Please participate in the shenanigans going on on my Facebook and Twitter. Don't be a stranger. Subscribe. And as always, stay healthy, wealthy, witty, and wise, and I'll see you next time.